Salt is more than a mineral, it's a growth tool, but only if you choose the right type. Today, we'll break down which salt block fuels the best weight gain and the one that might actually slow it down. Welcome fellow cattle producers. If you're serious about raising healthy, profitable cattle, you know that every single detail matters. And salt, that simple block out in the pasture, holds more power over your bottom line than you might think. Many ranchers see it as just a commodity, something to keep the cows happy. But that is a costly mistake. The right salt is a catalyst for digestion, nutrient absorption, and ultimately for packing on pounds efficiently. The wrong one, well, it's just a rock they lick. So let's start with the basics to build a strong foundation. Why do cattle even need salt? It's not just a craving. Sodium chloride, the chemical name for salt, is essential for life. It governs the nervous system, allows muscles to contract, and most importantly for fattening, it drives thirst. When a steer consumes the right amount of salt, it drinks more water. More water intake means better digestion of forage and feed, and it encourages the animal to eat more. It's a simple, beautiful cycle. No salt, or the wrong salt, breaks this cycle. So let's walk through the common options you'll find at the feed store. You've likely seen them all, the plain white block, the reddish brown block, and the yellow one. They are not the same, and using them interchangeably is where many producers go wrong. First, we have the plain white salt block. This is pure sodium chloride. It does the basic job of satisfying the animal's sodium craving and encouraging water intake. Is it better than nothing? Absolutely. For a basic maintenance herd on excellent quality pasture that is known to be rich in minerals, a white block might be just enough. But for a fattening operation, you are leaving potential gains on the table. Think of it as putting the most basic conventional oil in a high-performance engine. It works, but it's not optimizing performance. Next, we have the most popular choice, the trace mineralized salt block. This is typically reddish-brown in color due to the minerals added. This block contains the essential sodium chloride, but it's fortified with a cocktail of vital microminerals. We're talking about cobalt, copper, iodine, manganese, selenium, and zinc. Now, why are these so important for weight gain? Let's break it down simply. Cobalt is crucial because it allows the rumen microbes, the tiny engines in the cow's stomach, to synthesize vitamin B12. Without enough cobalt, energy metabolism and appetite suffer dramatically. You can have the best feed in the world, but without cobalt, the steer can't use it efficiently. Then you have copper and zinc. These are absolute powerhouses for the immune system and for the enzymes that convert feed into muscle and fat. A copper deficiency can lead to poor growth, a rough coat, and reduced fertility. Zinc is vital for protein synthesis and hoof health. Healthy hooves mean the animal travels to feed and water without issues. It all connects. So, the trace mineral block is a huge step up from the plain white block for any fattening program. It's delivering not just the salt, but the essential microscopic tools the animal's body needs to build itself. Have you ever put out a new trace mineral block and watched your cattle practically fight over it? That's not just a salt craving, it's their bodies telling you they are desperate for those specific minerals. But wait, there's another player on the field, the yellow sulfur block. This one is more of a specialist. You don't use it everywhere, but when you need it, it's a game changer. Sulfur is critical when you are feeding your cattle certain types of feed, especially those containing non-protein nitrogen like urea, which is common in liquid feeds or some custom rations. The rumen microbes need sulfur to properly convert this nitrogen into protein. Without enough sulfur, that urea can become toxic. 
Sulfur also helps the animal synthesize certain amino acids, the building blocks of protein. So if your fattening ration is high in molasses or includes urea, a yellow sulfur salt block isn't just a good idea, it's a necessary safety measure that also boosts performance. Now let's address the big question. Which salt is definitively the best for fattening? For 90% of pasture-based or conventional grain finishing operations, the answer is clear. The trace mineralized salt block. It provides the sodium to drive water and feed intake, plus the essential micronutrients that are the spark plugs for the entire growth engine. It's the most complete, all-purpose tool for turning feed into beef. But here's a common mistake that can make even the best salt block useless. And the worst part is that almost nobody realizes they're making it. It's placement. Where do you put your salt block? Is it way out in the corner of the pasture? A salt block should be placed where cattle want to be. Place it near their water source. Place it in a shaded area where they rest during the heat of the day. By putting it in these high-traffic loafing areas, you encourage consistent, low-stress consumption. You make it easy for them. An inconvenient salt source will be ignored, and your investment will be wasted. In a moment, I'll share an even better method than blocks for serious producers, but first, let's talk about a critical error. The error is assuming the salt block is a complete mineral program. It is not. It is a supplement. The foundation of your cattle's nutrition is your forage and your feed. The block is there to fill in the gaps. For producers who want to get to the next level, I strongly recommend getting your forage tested. A forage analysis is like a report card for your pasture. It tells you exactly what minerals are abundant and, more importantly, which ones are deficient. Armed with that knowledge, you can choose a supplement that perfectly matches your needs, instead of just guessing with a generic block. This brings us to a professional-level consideration, loose minerals versus blocks. Salt blocks are convenient and weather-resistant, but they are hard. Some cattle, especially younger ones or those with dental issues, may not be able to consume enough from a hard-pressed block. Have you ever seen a block that looks like it's barely been touched? This could be the reason. Loose trace mineral salt, offered in a covered mineral feeder, is often a superior choice for a serious fattening operation. Why? Because the cattle can consume it much more easily. You get a more consistent and adequate intake across the entire herd. It protects the minerals from rain, so you don't lose your investment to a big storm. Yes, it requires a feeder, which is an extra piece of equipment, but the potential return in improved average daily gain in herd health can pay for that feeder many times over. For small producers, a quality block is fantastic. For those scaling up and looking to maximize every ounce of potential, transitioning to a well-managed loose mineral program is the logical next step. So, let's recap the journey. We started with understanding that salt is a growth driver, not just a treat. We compared the plain white block, the powerful trace mineral block, and the specialist sulfur block. For most fattening bulls, the trace mineral salt is your champion, providing both the sodium and the essential micronutrients for converting feed to pounds. We learn to avoid critical mistakes like poor placement and the false assumption that a block is a complete fix-all solution. And we explored how loose minerals can offer a more effective delivery system for producers aiming for peak performance. The knowledge you've gained today is practical. You can apply it this afternoon. Go look at your salt stations. Are they in the right place? Are you using the right type for your specific feeding program? Making a small, inexpensive change here can have a visible impact on your herd's performance and your farm's profitability. This is what our community is all about, sharing real-world knowledge that makes us all better, more successful cattle producers. We are here to grow together as responsible stewards of our animals and our land. If you found this information valuable, please help our community grow Hit that subscribe button for Biggest Bulls and Cow so you don't miss our next deep dive. More importantly, go to the comments right now and share your experience. What type of salt do you use? Have you seen a difference? Ask any questions you have and let's get a conversation started. Finally, 
Share this video with another rancher. Your share could be the key that unlocks better gains for them too. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and let's keep learning together.